Okay, today is May the 17th, 2014, and I'm coming to you here from the Gasconade Hills Resort. Uh, beautiful place down in the valley in the Ozark Mountains. Um, so, but before I got here, wonder, great day of walking. Um, I was joined earlier in the day by a number of just amazing people. Um, Casey, her, her niece and her stepdaughter, and a uh, woman by the name of Amy. There was Sonia and one wiener dog. <laughs> I forget the name of the wiener dog, but it was, it was Sonia's. Um, but Casey works at Pathways in, um, Saint, er, in Waynesville. And she was contacted by, you know, David and Rala about my arrival. And so she came and walked with me today with a bunch of other people. And it was just amazing to meet all of them. Um, Sonia actually works at Pathways in Rala, so um, that's how she found out. But she also knows Casey. Um, it's just a great day. They all walked about eight and a half to nine miles with me today. Um, and it was just so nice to have the company. So nice to be able to talk to uh, people who can also relate with this mission. And um, people who, you know, I guess were, were inspired by it. So I, I thank you all for walking with me. Wonderful meeting you. And uh, it was a bit sad whenever we had to part ways and then I was by myself again. But um, I enjoyed it while the time lasted. Um, yeah, on the road today, the terrain was kind of bad. I was actually, um, uh, like, on Route 66 and then signs would just appear out of nowhere and say, you know, state maintenance ends here, pavement disappears. <laughs> something along those lines and then I'd be walking on gravel and dirt and sand for miles on end then the pavement would come back and then I'd be back on the gravel and dirt and sand so it wasn't a great day of pushing the dolly um, and uh, but you know beautiful day anyways so today also is a very is very special for a reason um, one reason here um, this is my first legitimate day of camping I just I can't believe that like I mean people have just been so kind and so generous and even camping tonight people have been kind and generous and I'll get to that in a second um, but there, this is about a halfway point between Waynesville and Lebanon and I didn't want to do like 25 miles tomorrow um, I could have stayed at an inn like a ways back but I was like you know what it's gonna be a beautiful night it's a beautiful day I'm gonna camp <laughs> for crying out loud um, I have all this gear and I'm almost to Kansas and still haven't used it so I really wanted to camp tonight and I'm so glad I am but here at the Gasconade Hills Resort, Stephanie, who's uh, the owner of the facility, I told her that I was coming um, a little earlier ago and asked if there was a site that I could use. She said, yeah, you know, I'll see you around four. And I got here and told her what I was doing. She knew I was on foot and she didn't charge me a dime for this site. So thank you, Stephanie. And to all of you who are in the Ozark Mountains, Gasconade Hills Resort, stay here. It's beautiful. You will not regret it. And the owner is just wonderful. So, thank you, Stephanie. Uh, but here's my little campsite. Uh, ta da! The little tent. It's been all bundled up in my pack for months. <laughs> and here's like the sleeping bag. And then I got the solar charger and my tablet. Um, the solar charger is just great. Like, you can just take the battery pack out and then, you know, it plugs into your phone. And then once, you know, your phone's all charged up, you put it back in the solar charger, and then the next day you can charge it up again and reuse it. So just fantastic. But this whole place is nice. There's a little fire pit. Got the picnic tables. There's a bunch, a couple of other people camping over here, some RVs. But just, it's so nice to be outside. I love it. And um, other than that, I will be making my way to Lebanon tomorrow. And a gentleman by the name of Bruce Conklin, who's the director of tourism there, actually got me a room to stay at. Um, he was notified by Beth, who's the director of tourism in Waynesville, and Beth was notified by Amy, who's the director of tourism in Rawa. So another great snowball effect happening. Bruce, thank you so much, and thank you uh, to Lebanon. I've not even been there yet, and I love it. So uh, I can't wait to roll into town tomorrow. And uh, from there, six more days in Missouri. It's just so hard to believe, but I don't want to look too far ahead. It'll drive me crazy, but it's still just amazing that I'm standing right here right now. So um, that about does it for the day. I'll uh, get you guys an update on my way to Lebanon tomorrow. All right.